Okay, so welcome everyone to uh, vinyasa class today. Uh, today is level two, whatever levels mean anymore. We will be slowing it down sometimes, speeding up. There's going to be lots, lots of options when it comes to doing some hand balances or arm balances and things like that. But if that's just not in your, uh, you know, repertoire today, or you're just kind of like eh, not feeling it, then don't feel the need to go there. So I really just want you to tap into whatever it is you're doing today. Maybe challenge yourself if you haven't been, or maybe your challenge is to back off a little bit if you're used to kind of always going, you know, hard or, or fast. So with that said, we're going to start in child's pose at the back of our mats. And your child's pose can be either a close knees child's pose, if you like to have a little shelf for your belly, or feel free to widen it and really start to let the hips drop back, thumb goes onto the heels, release the arms forward, and release the head to the floor. You tend to be one of those people that uh, have pretty tight hips, and perhaps your upper body is up high, feel free to block under your forehead or chest. Or if your bum tends to stay super high, then maybe put a pillow or even a rolled up blanket under your hips and onto your heels. From here, we'll start with just a few very deep breaths. So feel as though you're breathing not only into the back of the rib cage, but even down into the low back and into the belly. And then open the mouth and just sigh out. Again, deep, deep breath in. And sigh out. One more time. Deep, deep breath in. And exhale, sigh. From here. Begin to find a rhythm, cadence to your breath, one that will be able to keep with you throughout the practice. If your breath gets set up, you'll be able to come back to slow it down. And if you're moving slow or in stillness, it's something you'll be able to just focus on. Not only the feeling of the breath entering and exiting the body, but also listening to the breath. On the next inhale, so like come up onto all fours, stacking shoulders over wrists and hip overs and the knees. Inhale, draw the chest through the shoulders, squeeze the shoulder blades back just a little bit, let the hips rise. Gaze remains forward into your spine. As we exhale, start to round the back, tuck the chin into the collarbones, the chest, and round as much as you can, tuck the tail. Inhale, forward. And exhale. Inhale forward. And exhale. Inhale forward. Now, as we exhale around, pause here. Really contract the lower belly, lift the pelvic floor, and push as much as you can between the shoulder blades. Actively tuck the chin to the chest. And then if you're not moving, just release the tuck so the head kind of dangles. And then inhale, tuck chin to the chest. Exhale, release it. It's kind of the hand thing. One more time. Inhale, tuck even more. And then as we exhale, release everything back to the neutral spine. Walking the hands forward into puppy posture. You know, forehead comes to the floor, maybe even block or chin and chest melt towards the neck. If you have a rolled up blanket again, perhaps that would be a good place to put under your chest, letting the chest just kind of melt into the blanket, get a little bit of weight. 
sit bones really keep lifting up high. Inner thighs really start to open towards the back of the mat. Really connecting to your deep rhythm, rhythm breath. On the next inhale, press into the hands, lift to the body, and slowly uncurl onto the hips and the belly. Drop the forearms, coming into space, pressing the forearms down, and pulling the back towards the hips so that the chest can come through the shoulders. Start to press all ten toes and the top of the feet into the floor and squeeze the fronts of the legs. Small bit of pressure when you're going down into the floor, just again to find a little bit of lengthening out of the hips. Next day, small neutral. From here, just rotate the hands a little bit more out to the side, so maybe towards the edge of your mat. And then on the next inhale, pressing the hands and maybe lift up a little bit higher. Take a moment and let the shoulders come up near the ears. So you're kind of letting yourself shrug. Take a deep breath in. As we exhale, push into the hands and pull the shoulders down. And then on the next inhale, press the hands down and pull them back towards the body. Ignite a little bit of the upper back just so that the hips comes through those arms again. Slowly release the forearms down and forehead to floor. Hands come next to the rib cage, flip the toes, press back onto the knees, and then lift up to down dog. From down dog, right away, start to walk the feet forward towards the top of your mat. So maybe come up onto those tippy toes, which is nice and slow, just really wear your back. And when you get as close to your hands as you can, it doesn't matter where that is, pause, stay on those toes if you can, but try to relax the neck. And then exhale, use the belly. We'll slowly drop the heels down. Gentle bend in the knees, keep our back hip width apart, so maybe make some fists and put them in between your feet, and that will give you some of the guidance as to where your feet should be. From here, release down. For a moment, just let the arms hang. Maybe move the head around a little bit. And then grab our tops and elbows. From here, we'll start to bounce a little bit. So just using your belly to create the bounce. And then it's almost just like a pendulum. You're not even making it happen anymore. It's just the body's naturally swinging forward and back positions. And then slowly release the hands down. Right hand will come onto either a block or the floor. And inhale, left arm goes up right away. Bend to the right knee and push into the left hip a little bit. Lengthen the spine and chest and then look up. From here, left hand hang. Maybe move it forward and back a little bit. And slowly come back down. Left hand replaces right, either on block or floor. And inhale, right arm up. Pause for a moment, trying to stack the right shoulder on top of the left, and then bend into the left knee. Push into the right hip right just a little bit, but lengthen the spine. Look up, and then drop the head. Exhale, right hand comes down once again. Block or floor, inhale, left arm up. And you can stay here or go for a half bind. So if you can bring that hand maybe onto the sacrum or grab for the right knee with the thigh. As you bend to the right knee again, push into the left hip. 
Look up, lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, let the head loose. And then just lift and release the neck. Lift and release. Slowly come back to center, left hand replaces right. Inhale, right arm up, bend into the left knee. Stay here or go for either the hand on the sacrum room or inner thigh. Once here, push into the right hip, but squeeze the inner thighs together, lengthen the spine, look up. We're still trying to stack the right shoulder on top of left. Then let the head loose. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, release. Inhale, bring it up. And exhale, release. So we release the body in half, bring the right hand back down to the left. So we have any of those options we just did. Hand stays on the floor, left arm stays up, maybe to the sacrum or maybe to the inner thigh. Last option is to thread the right hand through the legs, grab for the left wrist right away, pull and lengthen that arm, stack the left shoulder on top of the right. Now maybe both legs are bent, or maybe you can lengthen the left leg, keep the right leg bent, and push into the left. Again, let the head release and bring it up. Release and breathe. Slowly release the hands, come back to center. Any of those options again, hand on floor, half bind, or full bind. When you're moving the bind, grab the wrist or the fingertips, and then pull and lengthen that right arm. You want it long. Then either keep both knees bent or lengthen the right leg, push it to the right hip, look up, step right shoulder on top of left. And then release the head. Lift it up. And release. Lift it up. And release. So they come back to center. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, release down. And fold in, bring weight into the toes. And if you have a pop, put it off to the side here, towards the middle or back of your mat, make sure you step forward. From here, bend the knees and we'll inhale right into chair pose. So as you reach the arms forward, bring the hips down and I want them low. Lifting through the spine and just lengthen the tailbone. So we're not lifting the tailbone and pushing the booty back. We're keeping it somewhat tucked, but not too tucked. Just the way we get it down, trying to bring the knees and hips and line together. Keep reaching with the arms, turn those feet forward. Get long through the side body if you can. Take one more breath. As we exhale, fold forward. Hands can come to the floor, maybe grab behind the legs, wherever you would like. But keep pushing those sit bones up, length into the back body, but press. Firmly into the heels and the big toe mounts. Keep laying when you kind of head towards forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine, hands on the floor, shins or block. As we exhale, bend the knees, hands to floor, step the right foot back. Drop the right knee. Inhale, rise up on the hands. As we exhale, let the hips drop and reach the arms back to the knees under. Take another deep breath in, keep reaching back. And exhale, hands come to floor. Lift the right knee and step back down. Here, you can take a couple of pedals into your down dog. Or any kind of movement. I love to just sway my hips from side to side and do the twists. It really helps. For me, get into my sacrum low back, which I tend to have some issues with sometimes. On the next inhale, look forward. And again, we're just going to walk or step to the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. See if you can go a little deeper. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold, keep the belly in, come the floor lifted, see if you can squeeze in deeper, keep lengthening, spine from the floor, and we'll lift the sit bones up a little bit higher, bring the weight into the toes, take another deep breath, squeeze those quads, 
And as you exhale, bend the knees, come into chair, go low. More than anything, I want to make some lines with me and extend to those arms. So really feel the back of the shoulder length me. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step the left foot back. Drop the left knee. Uncurl the toes. Inhale, up. As you exhale, lift the hips, drop. Reach the arms back. Turn the knees towards each other and see if you can keep reaching, reaching up and back. As we exhale, right hand comes, our hands to the floor, and step back down. This time, separate the feet about the mat with the part, and maybe even walk the hands in just slightly so we shorten our arm. From here, press firmly into that left hand. Take the right hand, either just reach towards the floor, or maybe grab onto calf or ankle of the left leg. And slowly begin to spin. Look up over the, or under, sorry, the left armpit, but equalize the hips, so keep squeezing the hips towards the right. Inhale, right hand comes down, exhale, switch sides. So you're either just reaching towards the floor or reaching for the leg. Slightly push the hips to the left as you look under the right armpit. Keep pressing that right hand down and forward. Inhale, come back to center. Bring the legs back in. And once again, look forward for you to walk your steps in front of the mat. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to Dasa. As we exhale, right into your pose. Find a focal point. Belly in, lengthen the tailbone down, and find a nice long spine. From right here, open the arms wide. We're going to lift right leg up, cross right leg over left. Come into eagle posture, left arm over right. Either bear hug, back of hands, or bind. Foot can remain on the floor. You can put it on a block, or you can go for the bind. Start to lay through the spine and get low. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Keep the elbows in line with the shoulders. As we exhale, slowly lift up. Release the arms and we're going to come forward. Lift the right leg up, standing split. Now you can remain with the leg up in whatever direction it is. Maybe it's high from the ceiling, maybe it's straight out from the hip. Stay there or bend the right knee. Right hand comes to the floor and you can grab the right foot with the left hand. As we do, see if you can bend into the left knee and then as you lengthen, lift the right knee up as high as it will go. Bow in and really press toes into fingertips. Slowly release the leg back to standing split. As we exhale, right toes come to the back of the mat. And inhale, we'll open up warrior two and then right into reverse warrior. See if you can reach the right hand behind the body towards the left back. Keeping that bind, exhale, slowly bring the left hand either to block or floor into extended side angle. You can always bring that forearm to the body as well. But try to you know, maybe a little bit deeper this time, but keep the hips pointed and again rotate right shoulder on top of the left. Deep breath in. As we exhale, slowly release the hand from behind you, reach it up over the ear and then slowly pivot towards the mat. Right hand comes down and drop the right knee. Take a deep breath back in. And as we exhale, push back into the back on the mat and bow in. Inhale, lengthen the spine, 
and pause here. So even if you keep the knee bent, maybe that left hand stays on the block. But we'll take the right arm up and bring it behind the head. Take a deep breath in, open to the right, and as we exhale, start to push that right elbow towards the left toes, but keep the hips pushing back. Inhale, open. Exhale, reach elbow towards the right. One more time. Inhale, open. And exhale, elbow towards the right. Inhale, open. Reach that right arm up. Exhale, put it back towards the knees. So we bend into the left knee and pause. We'll bring both hands to the inside of the foot. Heel to the left, foot over just a little bit, and come right into the dessert. So either staying up onto the hands, perhaps coming down onto the forearms. And lastly, if you would like to get a little bit more of an inflexible stretch, start to pivot chest towards the left thigh or knee. And then bend the right leg. Grab the foot with the left hand and let the hips drop. Keep lengthening out of the hips. So feel as though you're pressing the right knee down. Left heel goes, pulls back towards the right knee and then lift the chest out from the hips. Slowly release the foot. As you do, come back to center. Reframe the foot and we'll lift that left leg, or right knee, and then step the left foot back. As we do, drop onto the floor onto the golf and right arm. Keep the hips going up. Now you can either stay in your dolphin here, or if you have pincha in your practice, you just want to play around a little bit, go right into your pincha. Maybe play around with leg placement. Otherwise, we're holding our dog and just starting to feel all the muscles around the shoulder roll work. Lift those hips up and back and take a seat. On the next inhale, if you're up in pizza, go ahead and bring the feet down. Press into the hands so much that you lift those arms up. Shift forward into a high point and then exhale, child. Inhale, up top, and exhale, down. Deep breath in. As we exhale, look forward, bend the knees, and walk step forward. forward. Inhale, in. Exhale, forward. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, right back in the chair. Hold in our chair. Again, find the leg through the back of the shoulders, length through the spine. And take the bone reaches towards the floor. Weight in the heels, squeeze those knees together. From here, then open those arms. We're going to cross left over right and right arm over left, bare hug or bind your choice. Keep lifting through the spine and get low. Squeeze those inner thighs. Feel all four corners of the right foot really working and squeeze the right hip. And right glute. Elbows in line with the shoulders. Slowly we'll come up, release, and fold forward into standing splits. Again, option is to stay or plant the left hand or fingertips down and bend that left knee. Squeeze the heels above. Take that right hand, reach around and make the back of the foot. Bend into the right knee. And then as you inhale and lengthen the right leg, shift that left knee way up high. And then really flex the toes into the fingertips of that, the left foot. Keep angling. That knee is high up as you can go. And then slowly release, lengthen back into your standing split. As we exhale, left toes come to the back of the mat. Inhale, lift up and into warrior two. And then right away, left arm comes behind the back. Reach for that right inner thigh, reach the right. 
As we inhale, come forward and into extended side angle, either forearm, hands are blocked, or onto the floor in this half bind. Keep trying to keep the right rib cage jutting forward and the left shoulder stacks on top of the right knee. The gaze goes up. On the next inhale, slowly release the left hand from out behind you. Reach it around, move on to those left toes and drop the left knee. Take a deep breath in, big stop. As we exhale, half to move on, push the hips back. Maybe the right toes lift, maybe they stay down or somewhere in between. On the next inhale, raise the torso up, maybe it long. So again, we're pushing the sit bones back, reaching the chest forward. Right hand comes on to block or floor. Inhale, left arm up. Bend the elbow and bring it behind the head. Push the head into the hand. And then as we exhale, reach that left elbow towards the right foot. Inhale, open. Exhale, reach it forward. Inhale, open. Reach, maybe like you're trying to touch the toes with the elbow. Inhale up, press the head back. Release that left arm up and exhale, slowly bring it back to the fourth of the inhale. Inhale, slowly come forward into that lizard posture, bringing the right hand inside of that right foot. Again, staying here, up tall, using blocks or pillows. Or coming down into those corners. If you would like to grab from the back foot, take a moment, stabilize right foot presses down, press the left knee down, and lift out of the hips. Then rotate chest towards the right, squeeze that left heel into the bottom, and grab the foot. And keep the action of that right foot pulling back towards the left knee and left knee pulling towards the right foot. Slowly release. And come back onto your hands. If you're down, reframe the foot. Lift the left knee and slowly step back to down dog for a moment and then drop those arms right back down to dog. Again, option is to stay to dog and Pause and hold, breathe, maybe shift the shoulders over the elbows or see how it feels, or go for your future if that is what you would like. One more breath. And then exhale, slowly come down, shift towards high plank, exhale, turn inhale up, and exhale back. Deep breath in, and exhale. One more deep breath in, and exhale. From here, look for bend the knees, and walk step or float to the front of the mat. Inhale in. Exhale, turn. Bend the knees, inhale, turn. Exhale, bring the arms behind you and even just bring them to the waist and really shrug the shoulders back, elbows back, or interlace the fingers behind you and lengthen. Get in low. Again, it's a long spine. Weight in the heels, keep reaching back. You notice know, so that someone's pulling your hands back, but your heels are preventing you from going. As we exhale, slowly so hold forward, hands bring them down, bring them up and over the head. Slowly release the hands and inhale, look forward. Heel to the feet wide and come down into Malasana. So if you have blocks, and Malasana is a little difficult for you to stay in, go ahead and feel free to come onto your block and lift out the chest. Maybe this is where you stay. Otherwise, if you would like to open, bring your right shoulder in front of right knee. Lengthen that right hand out. Press right shoulder in front of the knee as you lift the left arm up. 
staying here or going for the right. And subtly twisting to the left. Look over the left shoulder, take a deep breath in and just feel yourself kind of squeezing that right hip and opening to the left shoulder. As we exhale, we'll slowly turn forward, but keep the bind if you have it. So if you're ready to relax on me, that's where you stay. But if you have the bind, see if you can squeeze that right shin so much that as we come up and launch the right toes, keep squeezing the leg in and lift, but the bound on the outside of the leg. You can always switch the grip and just hold the front of the shin as well. So we're squeezing into the big arm, lifting through the chest and lengthening that left leg. Squeeze the left foot, keep the right toes active. Slowly come back down. Release down, come back to center. Left shoulder goes in front of the left knee and open up. Stay there or go for the back. Lengthen through the chest and pull the right arm long. So we put the shoulders back to center. So again, if you want to switch the grip, just hold on to the outside of the shin with the left hand. Otherwise, trying to keep the bind. Come up onto the left toes, press into the right foot so much that you lift up, keep the right toes active, and press down into the, or sorry, the left toes active and press down into the right foot. Keep lifting. Length through the spine, front of the head. And slowly come back down. Come back to the last one. Again, option is to stay in the last one or if you need to, you can come to a seated position. Otherwise, we're coming right into the bottom last one and we are holding. So hands come down. Uh, knees come into the back of the armpits. And then we'll lift, shift forward and lift. Maybe you stay there and just work on lifting one or the other. Foot or lift both. Keep rounding through the back and gaze this forward. We were holding. I'll tell you when it comes out. Keep holding. And come down. Take a moment, roll those wrists out. Reach the arms forward, bow down. Hands to the floor, inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, step or hop back. Lower half of your elbow. Inhale, cobra or a thumb. And exhale, down. Inhale, right leg goes up. Exhale, step forward. As we do, lengthen the right leg, but keep on those left toes. Either back in here, or maybe floating through here. Reach the arms back and see how low you can bow and lean your head, even tucks into shin. Challenge your thighs. Sweeping your thighs. As we inhale, bend to the right, you can ride up into crescent and get low. As we exhale, hands come behind you, bind them. Inhale, lift to the chest, get long. Exhale, shift forward. Inhale, warrior three with back and hands. Take a deep breath in. As we exhale, breathe. Left foot to the floor, release the hands, and we will twist to the left. Take a breath in. As we exhale, lift the right foot and slowly shift it back. Can you hold the leg lifted and then drop right toes to back of the mat? Inhale, lift up, warrior two. Exhale, sandata on the right. Inhale, shift forward and bring the arms down. Lift the right leg up, stay in slant. Your choice, stay here. And then the nasa arm maybe goes for a little handstand hop, or two, or hold, and then the nasa. Exhale. 
floor stand and squirt. This time back in, maybe down a little deeper. And then as we exhale, right foot comes just a few feet behind the left. From here, right hand plants on the inside of that left foot on top, or perhaps the outside foot, a revolved triangle. Take a deep breath in. From here, the left hand comes on to hip. Bend into the left knee, reach the right hand forward again, lift the right leg, and come into the revolved half knee. Keep lengthening through the spine, squeeze that right leg long, flex the left leg short. As we exhale, left hand comes down, open up, full half moon on the left, chest and hips open to the right, maybe the right arm goes up. Slowly, right toes to the back of the mat. Lift up, warrior two. We'll windmill the arms down and step back to the wall. Deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step the left foot through and drop the right heel. Inhale, lift up, warrior one, and get you up. Press it into the pinky side of that right foot, keeping the chest over the hips, lunging into the left, and making sure that the knee is going toward that second toe, not in and not too far out. Maybe the hands clasp, maybe you can look up. Keep squeezing the feet down and towards each other. Inhale, open warrior two. Right away, right hand comes behind you, that half by inhale, reach the left arm behind you. As you exhale, left hand comes to the inside of the left foot, or half bound, extended side in. Again, option to stay with the forearm on the left. You can stay in the half bind, or if you would like to go for the full bind, Left hand reaches to the right, lengthen the right arm, open the chest, and look up. So we want to find length. And although we're bound here, we're not just resting on the left side, we're just keeping the spine lifted. From here, lengthen the left leg for trying. Again, keeping it bound or releasing into a half bind. Just releasing the left hand to the foot or block. We start to maybe release that left hand down to the floor. Keep that right hand half down in the hand. Maybe move the head and neck around a little bit. Anything that kind of feels good here. Take one more breath. Inhale, slowly release the right arm from the right hand down. Coming into either modified side plank or full side plank, any version. If you can, hit, if you can grab the tools, lift. Open. Press right hand down and forward. Stay square on that right foot. Keep pushing the hips open towards the front of the mat. Or sorry, side of the mat. One more breath. And then slowly step that left foot forward. As we do, drop the right hip. Inhale, open up to warrior one. And as we exhale, Bring your hands down in front. So this is where you're either going to stay, or if you'd like to go through the bond, grab again and square the shoulders towards the mat. So we're not going to the side, we're keeping it below. Squeeze the hip, left hip in, pause. So we step right foot forward. And your choice of how you get into Bird of paradise, so lift up, squeeze the right hip in. 
Squeeze the left arm back into the left thigh, and then keep opening out to the right. Or sorry, to the left. Keep lifting through the chest, gaze is forward, stay there, or maybe lengthen away. As we exhale, slowly release down. As we do, the minute the left toe is hit the floor, release the bind and raise back up, standing slightly lower to the ground. Left toes slowly reach towards the back, or just a few feet back. Left hand can stay on the inside of the right foot, on top or the outside. Twisted or revolved triangle, squeeze the inner thighs. Right arm goes up, and past the gaze goes up. Keep lengthening through the spine. Right hand comes to waist, then to the left knee. Reach that back to your core. Inhale, lift the left leg for revolve to the Maybe the right arm goes up. Keep squeezing your thighs together, flex the left foot. Long it that. Slowly right hand comes down, and inhale, left arm up. Open the body to the side, and fold down. Slowly bring left toes to the back of the mat. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, bring the arms down. Step back, down up. One more. Really deep breath there again. Maybe moving around a little. Inhale, right knee goes up, step right and forward. Left. As we exhale, step forward. Stamp onto those left toes, lengthen through the right leg, here to inhale. As we exhale, reach the arms back slowly. Inhale, bend into the right knee, lift up into the as we exhale, we're sitting as we kind of bind. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, lift into bound number three. As we exhale, bring the left foot down with the right, release the hands and come into twisted chair on the left. Inhale, lengthen. As we exhale, lift to the right heel. Maybe you stay there or you lift the foot. Slowly step back one point at a time. Or lift up, hold, and exhale. Right foot comes to the back of the mat. Inhale, open up, warrior two. And slowly sound down to the mat, down to the right. Inhale, exhale, come forward, hands to the floor. Either standing straight or hands to the house, and the hands. Keeping the rhythm of the breath moving. Inhale, left leg goes up, step up to the right. As we exhale, step forward. Stay up on those right toes, lengthen the left leg. Inhale, exhale, floating. Inhale, bend it to the left knee, reach up to your crescent. As we exhale, bind, opposite from the left leg this time. Inhale, exhale, reach up. Inhale, warrior three, bound hands. Exhale, right foot comes down nice and slow. Release the hand, twist to the right, twist the chair. Inhale, come on to those left toes and either slowly step back or maybe lift that left leg. Try and hold. And exhale, toes to the back of the mat. Inhale, open, warrior two. Exhale, stand up. Inhale, shift forward, hands to the floor, standing split, or maybe hands to the top, or hold your choice, and vinyasa. Exhale. Deep breath in. And deep breath in. Let's do two more breaths on your down breaths. Deep breath in, push your hips up and back. Inhale, right foot up. As we exhale, step forward. Drop the left knee. Inhale, rise up the top of the As we exhale, 
Lift the hips drop. Actively push right foot into the floor. Drag it back. Press the left knee into the floor. Drag it forward. Squeeze the left hip and the glute. And if you do, reach back in the more. If you can, interlace the hands and fingers and maybe go for a bit more. Exhale, slowly come forward and we'll twist. Left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Keeping the right knee on the floor, or left knee on the floor for a moment. Now you can stay with the knee on the floor, or you can lift the knee for a twist and lunge. And then we're going to slowly step that left foot forward into twist and chair. So if the knee is down, lift it up just to step forward. And pause. Now you can stay in twist and chair or go for side row. And if you're going for side row, wiggle the arm plate right down, bring the hips to the heels for a moment, chatter with the arms, and lift the legs, squeeze them together, and chest and toes forward. Slowly come back to center and lift up and forward forward. Heel toe the feet about the different parts. Interlace the fingers around the big toes. Inhale, inhale. Exhale, elbows come back to the shins and release into a deep floor. Weight comes forward. Inhale. As we exhale, walk, step, or float. I breathe. Chaturanga. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, left knee up. Exhale, step it forward. Drop the right knee. Inhale, lift, step on to the outside. Exhale, left knee up. Stop. Again, finding that pulling action of left foot pushing down, pulling back. To ignite that left hamstring. Right knee presses down, pulls forward. So we're nice and stable in the low body. Squeeze the hips in. Reach back. Stay there or interlace the fingers and go for a little bit. Exhale, slowly come forward and we'll twist right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Stack the hands, elbows up towards the ceiling. Stay here or flip the toes and lift the knee. And then we'll step that right foot forward for twist to chair. So take your time to get there. Once there, stay here or go for that side throw. And when you do, again, we want to keep the chaturanga arms as best as we can. We're leading with the chest forward, squeezing the inner thighs together, lifting. So using a lot of side pop. And slowly come back to the center. As we do, lift up. And come into a forward fold, this time stepping on top of the palms. Toes come to wrists and fold in. Elbows out to the side. Inhale. Exhale, release. Hands come to the floor, either down dog or then yes. Inhale, right knee up. Stack right knee forward, left. Exhale, step forward. Stay on the left toes. Inhale, right through the right leg. Exhale, push the hands back. Inhale, bend into the right knee. Grab to press it. Exhale, the waist hands behind you. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lean. Inhale, warrior three. Bow hands. Exhale, slowly squeeze it in. And bring the left foot down. Release the hands. Twist and chair to the right. Inhale. Exhale, lift the left leg and slowly stack it back. Inhale, open up. Exhale, stand up. Inhale, shift forward. Either standing split in vinyasa or maybe go for a hamstring hop. Maybe a few. 
and then vinyasa. Inhale, left leg up, step back, step over the right. Exhale, step forward, stay on the right toes, lengthen the left leg. Inhale, exhale, forward. Inhale, bend into the left leg, rise into the left leg. Exhale, nearly second into the right Inhale, exhale, reach forward. Inhale, right into warrior three, back again. As we exhale, squeeze the knee in. How slow can you drop the foot? Release the hands and the hands to twist the chair and relax. In. So we reach the right leg up and set it back. Inhale, open warrior two. Exhale, stand up, stand on the right. Inhale, shift forward. Standing split or maybe a couple of hands in hops. And then vinyasa. Deep breath in. Exhale. Looking forward, bending the knees, and hopping the feet outside of the hands. Inhale, lengthen. So we have our feet wide in the hips, maybe hip apart, or maybe not hip apart. Kind of depends on your shoulders and your hips. Now, option one, stay here. Just let yourself pull forward in this fourth pole. Option two is to bend and try and bring the shoulders in between the legs. And maybe the hands can bind. Maybe they don't. Now you can stay with the hands or knees bent. And just try and lengthen and kind of that down. Or maybe you try and lengthen the legs as much as you can. You need to line your legs, line your legs. Slowly bend down. Now, bring the hands behind the feet. We're coming into Titi Basana. So we're going to chatter around and bring them flat, let the hips drop. Maybe this is where you stay, you just kind of feel what it feels like here. Or you go for bringing the feet forward and trying to lift maybe one or both feet. Maybe you can just buy and work on lifting the hips. Or maybe you can lengthen the legs. Squeeze the inner thighs into the arms and lift, round the back. Keep squeezing the legs in. And then we'll slowly drop into the bottom. From here, feet to the floor. Just like we did before, maybe we can reach the arms under. This is where you stay with the knees bent. Or lengthen the legs, so flex the feet, push the hips, or not the hips, the feet forward, chest forward, wiggle it down, and then lengthen. Slowly bend back and come out. As we do, Cross the legs, come up and back to down dog. And then right away, lift the right leg and step the right leg forward. Drop the left knee. So you can come into a half pound on here. Or lengthen into a full split. Now, if full splits are fairly, or your oil helps them, they're fairly easy for you. Just make sure you're using the prior form. So really squeeze the right quad. Push the left hip forward, right hip back. And if this is, you know, again, fairly easy for you, maybe go for a fourth fold. Or maybe try and squeeze that left leg back and grab the foot. So try and keep the hip square and pull that leg in. And you can go for any version here. If you want to go for a mermaid, or kind of pseudo king pigeon. And then we will slowly release as we do. Lift that right leg up and back, step back down dog, and walk. Well. 
From here, once again, low floor, and we will walk step or float those feet wide. Fold in. Your choice. Maybe you just fold in and lift the bottom. Try and get under as much as you can, or maybe you try and go for a bind or a pseudo bind. Lifting, lengthening as much as you can. And slowly come back down. TT boss on one more time. Hands come to the floor, hips drop, lift one, maybe both, and then see if you can lengthen the legs. Lift the bottom, squeeze in your thighs. And slowly drop. Feet come to the floor, either fold in or lengthen the arms under the legs and fold in. Or lengthen the legs and chest comes to the floor. Really push through the heels, push through the toe mounts. Squeeze the legs. And then slowly bend. Wiggle out. Not the easiest thing to come out too fast. And cross. This time, lift up and back. Down dog, right away, left leg goes up, exhale, step it forward. Drop your right knee. Half on, four, full slip. One side is usually very different. This is my tighter side, so I like to get a little slower on the side. So always notice that. And then any version you would like to do here. This is your time to just play around with where you're at and what you're doing. It doesn't really matter. But can you breathe in whatever it is you're doing? Can you stay focused without letting the chit chat come into your head or the I should be able to or anything like that? No, these voices, just your breath. Move here and out. And slowly make your way up, whatever you're in. We'll lift up, step back, down, up, and we can walk. Lift the right leg up. Come in into pigeon on the right. So right knee comes to right wrist and come down. Options are if you're really tight, then it's coming to a little bit more of a 90 90, and you can fold it in. If you're going for a little bit more of a hip opener um, mm -hmm. or something that's a little bit more intense, then bring that right shin parallel with the front of the mat as close as you can. Equalize the hips towards. The mat, so that you're not lifting up on one side and then folding. As we do, if the foot's parallel, we're going to look closer in. We have the option of staying here or grabbing the left foot. Again, in many versions, maybe we're going to bring it in or keep it in. Grabbing the foot again, rotating that shoulder around, lifting, and then head coming back towards the foot. Try to keep the hips equalized on the floor. So keep them engaged. And also you're lifting it out of the low back. So it's the upper back of the time. Release. Swing the left leg around. As we do come into downward stretch on the right foot, 
to the inside of the left groin. So the deep breath and twist towards that left leg and forward. Inhale, come up. As we do, bring the feet in together. Take a deep breath in, Baddha Lift up and exhale. Extend the chest and chin towards the floor. You can use your arms as leverage against the legs and help open the hips if you need. Inhale, come up. Once again, we'll lift up and back. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee to left wrist. And coming down into your pigeon. Any version of pigeon here. Take a moment, equalize the hips, force the floor. And then exhale, roll in. Inhale, so lift them up. As we do, bring the left foot a little closer into the groin if it's a bit more parallel. And once again, stay upright, or if you would like to go for a deeper version, taking your time to get there. Slowly releasing, swinging that right leg around the right so that we're coming through down to the socks and the left foot into the groin. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist and fold. So it's just a subtle twist, left rib cage going towards the right and the left. Inhale, come up. And then once again, we're going to feet together for the bottom of the This time, as we lift up, suck the lower belly in. Keep the shoulders away from the ears, but pull those elbows in close to the rib cage. Hug the chin to the rack, chest. Round, 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 until the head points to the feet. Just feel that nice, long length and tailbone all the way down. Inhale, slowly come up. As we do, the last thing that you are coming down onto our backs is an inversion of some sort. So, whatever inversion you would like, uh, headstand, shoulder stands, um, if you have a handstand, you want to do it great. Legs up the wall, find a wall. Scoop your bum up. Let yourself hang so that the left foot comes back down towards the hips and the heart. It's a wonderful one, it's one of my favorites. Uh, so whatever inversion you would like to do, I'm going to do legs up the wall because it is one of my favorites. So I'm going to scoot back here. And if you have a plank up below or a blanket that you put under your hips, sometimes that comes a really good to have a little bit of height. And we're here for about 10 breaths before we settle down onto our backs for Savasana. So take the time.
Once you're in place at the wall, you can even let the legs go wide or straight up, whatever feels good. You can even come into like the climb up. And that's not whatever it is. I highly recommend doing this pose every single day, especially before bed. It's just such a wonderful pose to not only help stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system to relax the body down. But it's just such a great way to get some blood flow coming back to the heart and brain without going upside down. It is one of those that I could probably stay in for a really long time. Now, if you would like to stay, if your inwards of the body would like to stay there for your savasana, you can because the next thing we're going to do is work my twist. You can actually just let yourself twist over to the right with the legs and the bottom close to the wall. If you're up in any other kind of inversion, come down and either both legs twist to the right or extend the right leg long and pull the left knee over for a little bit more of an intense uh, recline twist. Inhale back to center and exhale over to the other side. So again, any version of your kind of twist like this one. And slowly come back to center. And then lengthen out into whatever position you want for your savasana. If you have pillows and blankets nearby, I encourage you to use them. I love to have pillows under my knees and a nice blanket over my body. It just feels really good. Or you could even bring a pillow or blanket and And just let yourself relax back. Oh, so good. Thank you so much for joining me for practice this afternoon. I hope we energized you, but also just kind of infused you with a little bit more focus for the rest of your day. So if you can get outside, it's beautiful and sunny out, go out for a walk, or just take the time to notice what's around you, even if it's just in your backyard. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Again, anything you would like or really feel like you need in a practice that you haven't gotten yet, please let me know. Or let us know either way. But again, a wonderful day. Thank you for a wonderful practice. See you in good health.